Okay, today we're going to be learning about the reproductive parts of a flower and its functions. So, are you guys ready to learn? Yes, very good. Okay, I have here with me an image of a flower and its four major parts, namely the sepal, petal, stamen, and pistil. So, we're going to be discussing each one of them. So, I know that everyone here already knows what a flower is. Okay, now let's go into the different parts of a flower or the reproductive parts of a flower. Okay, now let's discuss about the sepal. So sepal here is a limb-like structure found at the base of the flower. And mostly, sepals are green in color. Now let's proceed to the main function of a sepal. So sepal is the one that protects the flower during budding stage. And also, it provides support to the petals when it is fully grown. Do you guys understand? Yes, okay. Let's proceed to the petal here. So petal here is the bright and colorful part of the flower. And these petals make the flower look very attractive. Petals have different colors. Okay, I have a question for everyone. Who can give me an example of a flower that has a color red petal or petals? Anyone? Okay, Jana. What is it? Yes, rose. Yes, indeed, rose has a red colored petal. And also, rose have also different color petals colors of petals yes like pink white and other colors so another question who can give me an example of a flower that has a colored yellow petals a different flower except apart from rose okay okay mike what is it yes sunflower very good yes yeah, sunflower has a yellow petal another Daisy, yes, Daisy. Daisy also have different colored petals. Okay, thank you. Thank you for participating. You may now seat everyone, okay? Yes, why is it that petals have different colors and it is very pleasing to the eyes? It is because the main function of these petals here is to attract bees and butterflies, which helps in pollination. Yes, it helps in pollination. And collectively, these petals here are called corolla. Okay, now we're done with petal. Now let's proceed to the stamen. So stamen here has two parts, which is called the anther and filament. First, let's define what is the filament here. So this filament here is attached to the base of the flower found at the bottom. So it is attached here. And one of the function of filament is to support the anther to the top. Okay, now let's proceed to the anther. So the anther here is a knob-like structure that produces pollen. Yes, okay. Does anyone know what pollen is? Okay. Yes, pollen is the male reproductive part of a flower. Yes, very good. Or as we call it, the pollen here that is produced by anther, we call it the male gametes. Very good, okay. Okay, now since we have the stamen here as the male reproductive part, now let's proceed to the pistil here. So pistil here is the female reproductive parts and it has three parts. The stigma here, which is the sticky part of flower, and then the passageway here, it's called the style, that which leads us down to the ovary over here. And this ovary over here produces ovules. So what is ovules? Yes, ovules is the female gametes. Very good. Everyone was listening and participating. That's nice. Okay, 
we have the female gametes which is created here down in the ovary. Okay, to give you an explanation about the main function of the stamen and pistil here, I will give an example or a situation where a bees or butterflies go sit into the flower and pollens attach to their body. So pollens from anther attach to the body of a bees or a butterfly. Then when it flies onto the another flower, that pollen will be stick to the stigma of that flower because this stigma here is a thick part of the pistil and that pollen will go down into the style and here in the ovary together with the ovules and that starts the reproduction then it produces seed that will turn into a new plant okay the we call the transfer of pollen from anther to stigma pollination okay you have any questions about it uh, clarifications anyone okay no one okay that's good i hope everyone understands our discussion for today and i hope everyone will participate onto our next discussions